helps Aki lock this one in. We've talked about him extensively as really enjoying these AP junglers. Oh, doesn't go for the Talia, but does go for the Lilia. And again, this isn't necessarily about like comboing with your mid laner or your soul laners. I think it's about now. So gonna give up yep. an early Drake and pick this one up. One thing I want to look out for is what Rift we are going to get because if as well, we... Smite is available and Hacker just needs to land it down. Waiting gets a shockwave in there as well as Easter. Now gonna get slept down. No one's picked up the Herald, but they don't care. The fight's more important with First Blood going down. Dragon least leads OMG to that double dragon to start game off. You wanted to see the Ocean Lyric, of course, for OMG's composition. We're gonna get that answer very shortly. Shalsi. I'm gonna try and cue that one. We've seen that in the LPL before. So if he did want to go something like Ludens, I wouldn't be too surprised, but I think... Oh, Cole. It, it is a Rakan, though, so we can turn this play. OMG have walked into the choke with Brad there. They're gonna get a double man knock-up, and Eric getting low with the Ignite. Shalsi backs away, and this is why you don't chase a Rakan. As Cole at half health still wants to escape, Rat all he needs is a second skin. Here. Oh, Shalsi's looking okay, for a flank. Okay, gonna go down 4k. Swell Seeds out as well, and OMG, for the most part, still going to be hitting this dragon down. Eric's there, and for the steal, Ragnarok into the pit. He just takes it away. Does he care? No Shockwave whiffs as well. Empress divides sandwiches, and Shalsi gets the backline engaged. This is over, ladies and gentlemen. It was what I would say if Eric didn't just find the Samira ult. This champion is absolutely busted when there's not enough CC. E-Star get wiped. Shalsi gets knocked up. Eric's on the follow-up, and you know what? Samira wins the play. I mean, it definitely felt like more of a blunder on E-Stars and Hysterics. They definitely have the CC to lock Samira down. Obviously, a lot of it just coming out early. The Emperor's Divide, the Renekton W. Shaosi wasn't even in the play when it started, as we saw him use his W to try to escape. So, a bit of a... them all down when it wasn't really needed at that point. Mm, very true. We're going to see a fight again, though, Lyric. Unfortunately, oh. you don't get to talk. Shaosi tries to engage. And See if Shalsi wants to look for a potential flank again, or if he just wants to play front to back. I don't think Rakan in this instance really needs to look for a, a flank. You know OMG are going to Let's run see. into you. 4k going in for the engage. Cold first, double man knock up on the back end as well. Where's Eric? He's still here with 1600 on the dragon. Cold gets low, shockwave only onto one, but it's Irma. He uses the ultimate, sends it back into the team. That's kind of inting Lyric, because now Eric has a fun time yet again. Onto ZS, you'll get a... Another one there as Hacker is left by his lonesome. The dragon goes over to Easter, but the fight is kaput. And now OMG going to be able to turn this like uh, wave clear and siege potential coming out from that Orianna. Still, it's going to be a bit hard for them to break down a lot of those faster. Again, the big problem is that OMG don't really have a lot of long range tools to actually perform a siege, especially up against the likes of something like an Azir. So. It's going to come down to a lot if they can uh, use Play them well. Here comes the flank. Dominus use. He's a speedy boy. On to Eric. They want to kill the Samira, but the bot comes out from Colt to zone him away. The pulverize as well. Colt's going to take one for the team as Eric is still zoned out without too much life steal. They go back in and Colt will die first. Eric knocked up yet again, but Aki in with the sleep. Now it comes through onto two people. Hacker and ZS. Down they go. As Samira bopped in again. But this time, East Star still have Rat on the back end with new boppling away. That's not English, I know, but East Star now want to turn the fight onto Irma, who's on the back end, and new heals up so much. These fights have been messier than a pie on your face for New Year's Eve with a triple kill going over to New and ZS and you are going to fight it out. This is the silliest game of the split. I'll call it now. He'll get dunked. And that was bloody insane. At this point, pretty much doesn't die. And he's got a stopwatch as well to get that cooldown back up now. While I'm having a chat here, OMG do move to Soul Point with the Ocean Dragon. Hacker's there. He's a beefy boy. And the Viking gets bopped back. Cold running in first without the rest of the team. Two-man polarizer. Shalsi in for the flanking position. Rakan gets everyone up with the quickness. This rat is zoned out. Hit by Eric, who heals up. Now it's time to hit that S ranking. It's a double kill. It's Irma with the ulti again. But into the back line. It doesn't matter. It goes all the way of OMG. But left with Wooming and Shalsi. See, it ends up being Wooming favored. New comes in again. He doesn't die because this Aatrox is the embodiment of hell on earth. You believe in that stuff? Well, you do now. New will dunk him, and that's the full blown ace. Give him that extra bit of oomph as oh. teleport being burned. Cold oh, sitting on God. him. This cow means business, and he just bops Irma away. Irma wanted the kill. Yeah. And... So we're going to get another team fight. 
And you know what? Shouse has been caught. Sleep's going to be put down as well. And just because that's on the support doesn't mean it's not big because it's massive. Shousey will drop immediately. Ragnarok, Chilling Smite used. Remember, that's not going to do too much, but Hacker's still slowed by the Swell Seed. Cold waiting for the Headbutt Pulverize to get in front of him. Doesn't end up working. Unbreakable will there. He flashes immediately, bops him back into the team, and Hacker doesn't have that ulti as we just saw. He will eventually drop down as OMG have a numbers advantage. Going in, healer number one in ZS is here, but into the back line. Samira presses R, goes golden, and I think Eric may have sacrificed his life. A little bit inty, but news here. And even with the turret, he's not going to die. Cold going forward, and this Fiesta is no longer a Siesta in the LPL. New gets set up for the double kill for Wooming. Give him the true Triple kill and OMG and now gonna run it home. Yeah, OMG just taking over with these team fights. Death timers are probably too long. OMG should be able to close out this game. Eventually we could get there, Lyric. 40 kills, 34 minutes. This is what we remember about the LPL, just not the style we could say. As the first Nexus turret goes down, the Nexus turret number two at the ready. And Shousey wants to persuade this one to go even further. One second till Olaf comes up. Everyone needs to hit the Nexus. It's getting close, but it is game one for OMG. Yeah, and overall... Jungler here. 80 jungler versus 80 jungler, in fact. And that all will be locked in in the end. So, Lyric, take me through E-Star first, because this is a very different composition with a bit of mid-jungle threat. Try and turn a pick into a 4v5 or look for a flank with Camille. So, there are tools available. It's just much oh, harder no. to execute. Oh. Sh just popped back. He went too deep. Okay, he's gone. Well, he's a little bit low. His mid lane hacker's here. Now, you wonder how the blind monk sees that Wooming's overextended, but he feels it in the force. Flashes oh. with cripple. Sonic wave waiting. Wooming doesn't hear, though. And Irma's like, I don't know if we're going to do this anymore. New still low. Shield drain. Use Bella's breath there, but they flash. Immediately, the winds of war predicted the them. Hacker's now up here, and Irma making the roam lyric. He set this up so well. If he shadows or goes in, doesn't matter. Sonic Wave resonating strike, and Hacker doesn't have ulti, but the winds of war there again, waiting for the searing charge. Irma's trying to be a big brain today, and he'll help Hacker get his second kill in the process. And up is the. Ooh, though, Shao C wanting to be aggressive. We're going to see second skin passive comes up. Eric gets low. Bop here from Cold in the end. It's top lane. We're diving onto Wooming. The hero's entrance. Wooming stuck. And these solo laners flourishing with the help of Hacker. While bottom lane, if it's a solo kill, now you put it in the bin. Sword Art and kind of trained under him. One thing Sword Art would do a lot on the Flash Holes roster when they brought in MMD was make these. Build with him and Shockwave use to clear the wave again. Punch down with Demolish. And Irma gets first tower of blood, 600 and Also, also you, at this point, right, you have three lanes of priority. Hacker can do whatever he wants. Nice perspective, you know, keep yourself alive. He hasn't had too many interactions with the enemy team, but that time will come. Capitalize and kill the scissor leg lady, but Tara's just going to go down. They finally engage. Hexec ultimatum with the hero's entrance. Cold going to get knocked up. He's in the unbreakable. Got to keep eyes on him. The level 11 Camille against New, who's 10. Uh, very different roles in the fight, too. Meets the item, what we've seen at the start of the split, uh, holding the lane well. Meanwhile, Irma's just absorbing pressure up in this top side while Hacker's getting a free dragon. Look at the bottom lane. Herald's going to push in. Some Shelly. minions. This is like, you know, maybe like an artist and the fans trying to bat them away so you can get into the venue. The venue's waiting. So, even though it doesn't look like they're necessarily expanding their gold advantage, as shall oh, see. Solar Flare. OMG starting the fight, but I think they might end it as Hero's Entrance comes in. Hacker flies through like the wind. OMG with the numbers disadvantage, but they still engage. Shouty gets pulled back with the Shock Raven. Hacker taking the fourth shot in the end. He has to flash two as Point the now to Easter for this Ocean Soul. Like, it's weird because it's kind of cheeky in the sense that it does stop OMG from being able to go to Dragon themselves. You're kind of pulling their... Expect Eastar to be able to break open this bottom... Oh, maybe I'm wrong. This new gets traded on. See, it's ultimate use, actually, in the Hextech Ultimatum. Sonic Wave misses, but New getting tagged down. He's ignited. Irma gets the kill, and the turret goes with it as well. Onto Cold, who absorbs the damage. OMG now kiting back as the kick from Wooming. May have secured the game. Hacker's done all he can as Wooming has to flash away. It's everyone forward. The committal there from E-Star is the Justice Punch once again. Onto Eric, who's left teamless with a double kill over to Rat and E-Star. This time, they ain't making mistakes. It took one massive punch and an anticlimactic ending. But at least we're going to game three as Eric has to stand there and watch. I just love that E-Star throw the textbook out the window. They don't need to try to pull the members of OMG apart. They just go, hey, I'm going to ult this guy. We're going to kill him and we're going to end the game. We are one to one in this series. Yeah. Aki and New were pretty much taken out of the game completely.
it was a, a one-sided affair for the whole duration of the game. That's why it ended in 28 minutes flat. And Eastside did a really good job playing through that side lane. And as we are about to go into game number three, we've got players to highlight. We already talked about Hacker versus Aki and Jungle Difference definitely a thing in this series. But also, you know, Shousey was a big part of that, big proponent because he was roaming with Hacker. You talked in game about his ability Back to say, hey, pull in the vein. Rat a tat tat wrong champion, but it's vein locked in with Shousey set. And we've had a lot of conversation. Dicey, but at least we'll get a bit of XP back. And actually, Irma's making his way up. But Wooming is ultimate. Wooming is ultimate, yeah. hysterics. Okay. So, far, so you can see, played almost oh. there is Shousey. Oh no. Well, oh, worth a shot. <laughs> okay, back to the drawing board. You lost the turret. To be fair, he has Hex Flash. It's not the biggest loss, but OMG are going to be able to secure this <laughs> turret anyway, and it should yeah. equal out Such to a 200 him. IQ move. Hey, Dragon goes down. We now have an Infernal Rift. Carry threat oriented team, which feels weird because Aatrox and uh, Olaf will definitely deal a lot of damage, but in the late game. Eric, Solar Flare's coming down. You know what? Chelsea's dead. First blood goes over to the Tristana, and all of a sudden, Hacker's in as well. Shockwave used that whiffs. Eric saves um, the. And now for OMG, you know, moving to this top side, that's a good steal for Hacker of his own buffers. The engage start, teleport there, over the wall, Eric comes in, great condemn from Rat, but meanwhile the fight on the other side, Shousey works his way in to maybe be dead again. The Undertow landing the first time, the second time, and new on the Aatrox. Oh, oh my god, the duck comes on down with a rocket jump on top of that. Eric resets City up there while Hacker's bloodthirsty. These two teams can't help it. They're like, hey, let's go back to game one. A double kill for Hacker. Aki's there from the rim, though. And Hacker now has the same level as he gets pulled on in. Ragnarok immediately pulls in the hero's entrance. Only hits Dragon. None of E-Star is new. With the flank, Rat hiding back as well. Look at the position of this vein. As Shalsi keeps him safe. New hit hard. He doesn't have that much sustain yet. And Rat feeling himself. Get him a double kill. Cold goes back in. It's vein time for another triple kill. Rat coming in massive and a lot of nice plays coming out from him. We saw ZS doing a nice job of kind of playing that frontline role. This is just bashing down these turrets. So we'll have that discussion another time while ZS will be the first here and the Galio up in that top lane wooming. ZS fully stacked is just going to be insane uh, comboing with this Kraken Slayer as well, being able to just real flash back up and available again. If OMG get this, they'll move to Soul Point. News over by the flank in a position that Lyric, you've talked about for good Aatrox players. You don't want to play the front line, you want to play from that flanking angle. And that's exactly where he is for now. With ZS matching him, Dragon's been started. Hacker walking in, Chelsea here as well. Cold with the Zenith Blade flashes in. He wants the back line, he's on the right. And he set up oh. the heroic entrance. Wooming flies in first. Eric's having a good time now as well. And they're in a choke. Rat trying to outplay. He hits Eric once, twice. Tumbles away. He's gone invisible. He's run out of his ultimate. And you's taken him down. That one was carried by Cold. As he sets up the engage, Hacker's the only one left. And you know, even with Gore Drinker, he's soon to drop. Take it all. OMG are back in the game. They could even potentially look to start uh, a Baron play right now. But at the very least, they take the Dragon. Recalls are going to come out. And we can start putting down some vision in the top Cold side. Cold makes the play with Wooming's ultimate on top. As they get a turret. They they have get... TP though, Hysterics. He has to walk the long way here. True. So for OMG, they're going to have a man down at 4k. This is going down fast with the help of Rat, who's doing this true damage to the Baron. The Steel Bolt's there. Set can't get the ulti. Shouts, it's stolen. Oh! Walk right on in. And Aki just says, oh, thank you for the leash. As E-Star now have to kite back. Look at Rat. He's still alive. New wants him, but he's safe. New jumps on in, and he's going to die. While E-Star, they may not get the Baron, but the team fight with Eric, the only one left alive, is definitely theirs. Hacker on the chase, and Eric waiting to rocket jump. A Q again. Sniped down, and OMG erased. Massive win from the side of E-Star. Doesn't matter that they, that they didn't get the Baron. They're going to pick up all the kills. Should be able to get some turrets and more of this play as well. And... It's just kind of disappointing, right? Because New wasn't there, so it doesn't matter that Aki got the steal. They still had to funnel in to try to get that steal. It was numbers disadvantage on their part. Eastar were able to turn and say, okay, we're going to clean up this fight in the early game, but of course, off of some of these recent skirmishes. He's got Ragnarok. He can't be sunned down. He can just run this out, but it depends. They're going to use the hero's entrance right down as well. OMG for the counter engage. 
Shalsi ults out Wooming, which I think was just shocking. And now, looking in the backside, Aki's still getting chased. Well, it's an absolute mess. Eric and Rat are still alive, and I'm trying to find Rat. He's up here, onto Wooming. The Vayne needs the Silver Bolts, gets the true damage, and down will go for a double kill. Eric now trying to run away, and the Vayne better, a triple kill to follow suit. Shousey on the chase, and this series has just been the epitome of League of Legends. Shousey over the wall. Eric, does he have another rocket jump? The real question. He wants to turn the blade. He will in a second. Is, Is he going to die? Yeah. I just wonder if Eastar can close, which they no. actually definitely clan. I don't <laughs> need to wonder. 20 second death timers. Oh my god, it's time. The Colt's trying to defend onto the Nexus turret. And yep, that's it. There's the full blown ace and Eastar are going to run it home. I don't know. I don't think Eastar or OMG won this series, but I think the viewers definitely did. I just don't know how we go from like, we go from a replay, we pop.